The world was not always covered in miasma. As a matter of fact, we used to live all over the surface of the Earth, in scattered outposts and bustling cities. Whether it was by divine punishment or by consequence of human greed, we lost all those things, and more. These days, folks live on barren mountaintops, fearing the day the miasma's fog rises high enough to poison what little land there is left. Certainly, there were a brave few who tried to stem the tide, but they paid dearly for it with nothing in return. No, there is little hope for long-term survival now. Instead, towns like Little Rock endure to thrive as much as they possibly can. With the time they have left, they establish initiatives like the Homestead Arcana Program, which places witches of age at lower elevations so they may cultivate plants for back home. With the lack of viable land, this means witches settle right next to the border where the miasma lies. Though Little Rock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all costs. For fear of death, or worse. This is your stop, ain't it? Got everything on you, bud? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the ride, Abraham. <sighs> yep. Well, see you later. Son willing, of course. All right, let's mosey on down. There it is, the Dust Eater. That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly changed. Well, except for all that miasma. Yeah, and Matilda's old homestead is somewhere in that canyon. Of course, it's covered in miasma now. Who knows what's left? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but I've only been back for a week, you know? 
I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. So the first right is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, you'll need to start off with a tent. Not the most sturdy of structures, but eh, gotta start somewhere. Keep the elements out? Probably. Maybe. Don't worry. You'll get the materials to build a proper house before long. Just like your Aunt Matilda did. Now, the second right demonstrates your botany know-how. You'll need to plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little rock favorite. Corn. Right? Now I want to see you cast a watering spell. Should help it grow, at least a little. Of course, channeling is much more effective. You do know how to channel, right? Stop pulling my tail. I've seen you channel before. <sighs> channeling is that thing you do where you pull mana from the earth and guide it through the plant, making it instantly grow. You know, channeling. Now stop making me look like a fool and show me you can channel. How's it going? Yeah? What is that? What do you want to talk about? Hey, do you remember your first plant? The first one you raised without Ma's help? It was... Now what was it? Well, it was a flowering plant, that's for sure. You know what? I think you're right. Downright invisible in the snow they were. I remembered you cared for those flowers more than you cared for yourself. 
Sometimes I'd catch you sneaking out in the middle of the night just to watch them. It seemed to pay off, though. Within a week, they were blooming. In the middle of winter, no less. Really showed the power of tender loving care right there. Sure, the magic helps, but... What I'm trying to say is... It's good to care. Not enough people in this world care anymore. Imagine if you couldn't channel, huh? Your plants would take forever to grow. Of course, you don't want to overdo it and blight the poor thing. All things in moderation, right? The second ride is complete, and now time for the third. You'll prove yourself as a witch by building a cauldron and then brewing spell potions. Now, I can't just give you a cauldron, that's part of Test. But technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a witch, right? That's the best place for it. Try moving it to a better spot. Hmm. Not sure if that's a good spot for it either. No matter. If you change your mind, you can just move it again. Anyway, the cauldron. You'll need wood for the foundation, lavender for purification, and metal for the, well, cauldron. You can get some of those things in the meadow to the north, but that's blocked off. Luckily, I have all the ingredients you need. All it needs now is something brewing in there, and you'll be a real witch. Which brings me to the third ride. Potion making. With what you've currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's alright. Ripple is plenty useful. Oh, right. You need silver. Before you ask, I do have some on me, but, uh, these will be the last of the hand. are always losing things, right? And Ripple is great for finding stuff. So this will be a bestseller for sure. Anywho, you've just completed the initiation rites. So you're now officially a part of the Homestead Arcana program. Congratulations. Your reward lies in... in... Oh no. I have to understand, the miasmatides are unpredictable. When I hit it, a week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. 
of what I'm saying is, I think your prize is in the miasma. Yeah, it's not good at all. Mm. I was hoping it wasn't going to come to this. Well, not so soon, anyway. When you're ready, meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? As you walk through that veil, you're gonna be breathing miasma, and you're really gonna feel it in your lungs. That's why it's important that you find the reward as soon as possible. It's in a crate not too far from here, but it might be hard to see it. Drinking a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better. Come on, give it a sip. Big and bright, anything important will light up like I do. Okay, don't stay too long in the miasma. Keep an eye out for a wooden crate. It shouldn't be too far from the entrance. Son, you're alive. I was starting to get worried. I'm not sure what happened, but I was waiting for you outside the miasma, and then you just showed up like you were washed ashore. All I could do was drag you up to the bed and pray you'd be fine. Of course I can pray. I'm not that religious, but Son listens to all her children, right? Anyway, this is why you need to be more careful in the miasma. Bring spells, bring snacks, and don't disturb the wildlife. Are you dizzy? How's your breath? Your blood pressure? Are you sure? Maybe it's some miasma talking. Either way, we need to get you some food. The box had blasting powder, right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Over there, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat.
A crab apple. Give it a bite. Feeling better? You should keep looking around here, by the way. Lots of wood, metal, various herbs and spices. Now, I understand that you might want to explore the miasma some more, but there are other things you can be doing. For example, Abraham should be coming back any time now, and when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. And, oh, I think you have mail. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there. How's it going? What do you want to talk about? You're asking me about Little Rock? Buddy, we just got here. Don't tell me you're already getting homesick. Aw, oh, you don't gotta hide. You ought to miss it a little, right? Right? Well, figures. You wouldn't be out here if you loved your town too much. Humor me, then. What do you think you'll miss the least about Little Rock? That sounds about right. Must be a nice change of scenery for you. Well, we'll see how long it takes before you start getting bored of your homestead, too. In any case, Little Rock's not going anywhere. But we've got work to do here now, don't we? <laughs>